Transit in Leeds had been and continues to be a major issue for the local authorities, be that local or regional, with multiple schemes over the years caving due to funding issues or just plain ignorance. So this is my theoretical tram train system in Leeds. Hope you enjoy. The first line would run from Middleton in the south up to the universities near the city centre, using several sections of old alignments and a small section of the Normanton to Leeds line. This line would be the basis of a wider network and uses as much pre-existing infrastructure as possible to try and keep construction costs down. Introducing trams back to the city and being fast enough to convince passengers to ditch the slower commute by car or by bus for the tram instead. If the first line was successful, then I would continue to the network by linking it to the existing National Rail network by running and connecting via the existing parking for the station across the canal and then tunnelling under the Air Valley line to connect to the Pudsey, Morley and Harrogate lines, of which the tram trains can offer more frequent services alongside the normal schedule, thus in one fell swoop increasing the coverage of the network to more or less half of the entire metropolitan area. From this, I would then continue expanding the conventional tram network, with new lines following the arterial roads towards Gipton and Moortown, covering the northern reaches of the city. The final extension that I would propose would be a link to the east, where trams conventionally would travel along the streets to Leeds Marsh Lane, where they would, again, connect to the National Rail Network, and be able to run east or even along the old alignment to Temple Green Park and Ride, providing services to the easternmost reaches of the city. I believe this network would suffice most of Leeds' needs for transit and provide a good basis to continue expansion in a similar vein to what we saw in the history of Metrolink, watch here, so that it will hopefully someday become even more effective and make commuters consider switching from their cars into the tram instead. But at the end of the day, it's up to the combined authority on what they want to do. Let us know what you think in the comments below with your own suggestions and as always have a great day.